Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number three of the PGL, the Pokemon Global League. And uh, this is really interesting. Uh, I'm playing this right after my week four match. And literally, I just finished up my week four match um, just a few minutes ago. So I'm a little bit nervous. No spoilers, obviously. But um, it was a really fantastic match. A truly, truly fantastic match. One of the best um, matches in a while. But here we are. Okay. We have the Zero Aura, Ferrothorn, Slowking... Crobat, um, Sharpedo, Mega Sharpedo, and Gliscor. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot now so I don't forget. Because I've been forgetting quite a bit. Okay. Okay, let's see here. What did he not bring? No Breviary. I honestly thought that the Breviary could be huge. No Meloetta, no Mimikyu. No Mimikyu is wild. No Mimikyu is actually wild. I'm kind of blown away by no Mimikyu. No Roserade, which is also kind of huge. Okay. Okay. For the most part, everything I expected, except no Mimikyu. No Mimikyu blows my mind, but okay. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. I'm really curious as to what I should lead off with. Um, The only thing that would really stop my Superior would be the... Would be the Crobat. And I believe I am a Cobaberry Superior, if I remember correctly. I am a Cobaberry Superior. Um... I'm thinking that my lead should just be um, Cobalion. I just wanted to check that I did have Volt Switch, and I do in fact have Volt Switch. Part of me thinks that that should be my lead. I think, mm, no, the Glass Core lead is too much of a threat. I think I'm going to lead Cresselia. I don't want to be that guy, but Cresselia does seem like a big general purpose lead, and... Whatever happens, I can kind of adjust from there, but I think, I think, let me see. I think we can do some things in this match. Um, I'm going to have to deal with the Slow King, but my Victini has a decent time in this matchup. Um, does, in fact, lead the Goliath score. So, I can threaten Ice Beam turn 1, and I'm curious as to whether I should do that. I'm curious as to whether I should just threaten Ice Beam. Because out of Brox, he could protect. I'm going to click Ice Beam. I think no matter what, um, I'll be fine. He does set up Brox. I will get an Ice Beam off, and I should be doing well over half. I can't imagine an Oko, but, you know, who knows. Yeah, do about 75-ish percent. I'm not really concerned about anything that really wants to come in. If I remember correctly, I, I built this team a little while ago, but um, if I remember correctly, my only two offensive moves are Ice Beam and Hidden Power Fire. Um, anything else, I can kind of Toxic for damage, I, and the, and the, my other two moves are just Toxic and Moonlight. And it's going to do pretty well against his entire team. I am kind of afraid of being toxic myself, but he has to be wary of me wanting to take him out with an Ice Beam, I guess. I kind of wouldn't be surprised if the Ferrothorn wants to come in right now. Part of me just wants to click Toxic, not expecting this thing to want to stay in. Maybe he stays in and goes for the knockoff, giving up the Glide score for the rest of the match, but... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I think... Hmm. I'm gonna click Ice Beam. It does just click U-Turn. So... I should have clicked Toxic, probably. Toxic would have been a slightly better play, but... We'll be fine. What would be his best play? Maybe the Sharpedo? Maybe? Um, he would get a speed boost off of that Sharpedo, which is kind of scary. But I'm not too, too worried about it. Um, I always have my Cobalion to go up against that. The Claw. I think that's the... Okay. Like I said, I do have the Hidden Power of Fire for the Ferrothorn, specifically. Obviously, there's no other real reason to have it. But... Um... Let's see here. We can gauge how specially defensive this thing is. 
But I am concerned about getting toxic myself. And I kind of want to go hard into Victini, but I don't want to give him those rocks. Or that rocks damage. I could go into Cobalion and threaten... I could go into Cobalion and threaten... Like, close combat or something like that. I am a Phytinium Z Cobalion. I could go into Cobalion and click Volt Switch. I think that would be my best play. I think that would be my best play. If I had to guess, he's going to want to set up uh, spikes right now. Goes for a knockoff. So he'll give me the justified boost. And he will see that I am, in fact, um, Z move. By um, nothing getting knocked off. So it would be his best switch. His best switch would be the Slow King. I know in my head that my best play is to Volt Switch. Yeah, I can't do anything against the Slow King. I should Volt Switch. If he really goes into the... Um, what's that thing called? If he really goes into the Gliscor, then um, at plus one Iron Head should do the trick. But regardless, Volt Switch does... Oh, it's a crit. I was going to say, that is a deep, very decent amount of damage. But this would actually allow... Okay, 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 okay. Let's take one gosh dang second. And let's take a look at Michael Ballion against a Slow King. Because that honestly just kind of makes me think that it's like Assault Vest, like not Assault Vest, like Physically Defensive Slow King. Even if we give it a crit, we give me plus one special attack. 30 to 36% with a crit. Uh, let me see. That's about right. So this is definitely not specially defensive, which I think opens a door for my superior right now. The only thing that really threatens my superior would be the Crobat. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go into superior right now. I don't even remember which hidden power this is. This is hidden power ice. I'm gonna click leaf storm. Does go into the crowbat. So this is super interesting because I am Copa Bear. He could go for the cross poison, but overall, 100% his better play is to. That is a very defensive crowbat. That that did what like 15%. I was calculating out banded crowbat damage because I was calculating banded crowbat damage because oh no that is an offensive crowbat yeah but I am a plus two and hmm I do have one. Brave Bird in me. But yeah, I shouldn't waste it right now because I should save it for a little bit later be only because of the fact that um, I don't do enough damage to this thing with only one Leaf Storm up. So I think the play has to be to go into my Sand Slash. Let's go for the U-turn. That's fine. That does a very decent amount. That is... Is that right? I guess 12. I guess that's right. Oh, but that assumes that this is a max attack crowbat. So, uh, so for right now, I'm going to assume that that's a max attack crowbat. Could be a Z-move crowbat. Could be a Z-move crowbat. I have to keep that in mind.
Um, his best play might be... He would go, want to go into Slow King, I think. He would want to go into Slow King. Maybe Sharpedo. Again, Sharpedo does get the one-time speed boost if it comes in right now. Um, and it would prevent... It would probably prevent me from being able to Rapid Spin, get up my own rocks. Um, which is pretty valuable right now. Um, I think no matter what, my Cobalion should be able to take that on. Especially Fight Z Cobalion. But... I can tell... Already I can tell that this is going to be a long match. Um... Because we do have decent counters to each other, so it's going to be really back and forth for a lot of this match. So, it'll probably be a bit of a long haul. Let's go into this thing. But I will get up healthier, which is good for now. And what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? See, the thing is, I'd probably take a hit from this Ferrothorn, right? It could be worth it just to get a Rapid Spin off right now. Even if I assume Power Whip. I take a Power Whip, fine. Yeah, I think Rapid Spin is much more important because at that point, he has to respect my my uh victini a lot more i don't even care as, as long as this thing can keep rocks off of the field and i'm fine with it i'd be very surprised if this was a spikes ferrothorn i'm gonna assume that it's not rocks double rocks with the glide score for right now but who knows it very well could be it very well could be and getting rocks up right now is going to be all that I care about. It's going to be all that I care about. Could also... Could be a default Crobat. If Crobat comes in right now, then... I definitely click knockoff to get rid of the Black Sludge. But... If the Crobat comes in... Well, no, I probably take the Defog turn in order to go into my Vic... Not my Victini, my... My, um... Yeah, my Victini. That's what I meant to say. Could this thing be Defog? That'd be interesting. Yeah, there's no way you go into, into this thing if it's not Defog. Unless you're just trying to get this thing healthier. But I don't see why you'd want to do that. Like, at all. But I'm going to go into my superior no matter what. I'm going to go into superior no matter what. What's this thing called? Glyscore? Yeah, it does raise my evasiveness. And... Um... Leaf Storm should still be... Okay, well, at this point, Leaf Storm is a roll. Assuming that this thing is max HP, which I think I have to assume for right now, um, being this whole Toxic Orb nonsense, but this thing can't do anything to me that I would have to be concerned about. Yeah, it does just withdraw. I mean, if, if anything, the worst thing that I would have to worry about would be if it, um... If it goes for... If it goes for, um, hmm. See, what I really want to do is I want to click sub. I really want to click sub. This Crobat is going to be a problem for me. If I'm being honest. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into... My Jolteon. Because... Goes for Toxic. That is wild. 
That is kind of wild. So, I guess I don't have to reveal Flame Orb yet. I kind of want to assume... Should I reveal Hyper Voice right now? I am a Hyper Voice Joteon. Just to take on the Zorora a little bit and to take... On... Oh, and it doesn't know that I'm Quick Feet, so he doesn't know yet that I don't... He doesn't know yet that I outspeed the Zorora. Could go into the Gliscor or the Zorora. Regardless, I think Hyper Voice... I think Hyper Voice is going to be the play. Okay, okay. We get that call. We get that call. Now, how much damage are we doing? We just missed out on the 2 KO. I'm going to assume... I have to assume some kind of a... I'm going to have to assume some kind of a... Close combat knockoff. Something like that coming in. Part of me says I shouldn't care, and I should just kind of go for another Hyper Voice. Maybe maybe if I'm clo go feeling crazy, just going to go for a Volt Switch into this thing. But no, I'm going to click Hyper Voice again. I'm going to let him think for now that I am choice. But yeah, just putting this thing in range. I get knocked off. It's not going to matter. I think he thinks that, I'm, that he's knocking off a boosting item. But he could be giving me Zorora right now. Which honestly makes me really want to click, um... Honestly really makes me want to click Volt Switch. How crazy am I going to be right now? I don't think I should. I don't think I should do that. I don't think I should do that. But I really want to. I want to so badly. You know what? Why the heck not? Switch out. You're not gonna you're not gonna give up your Zora right now. There's no way you give up Zora right now. You know I'm quick feet, you know I outspeed. There's no way you give this thing up. Yes, okay. There we go, there we go. So now I can start really threatening something with my Victini. Yeah, Victini's my play. I guess I could have gone into my... Cobalion, but... Let me... Yeah, let me make sure of my... Victini set. Real quick, like... Um... I am a max attack... Victini, but I do have blue flare just in case I want to be in a position where I don't have to give up my speed. Um, regardless, because the Slow King is such an easy switch in right now, or yeah, he has so many switches in that I think U turn has to be my play. I think I just want to click U turn right now. I would be amazed if this thing stays in. And he has a Slow King. He has the Sharpedo, potentially. Both both take Super Effective from U-Turn. Can maybe try to take me on with Crobat. Can maybe try to take me on with Gliascor. Yeah, regardless, his play is never really to stay in, I don't think. Oof. Oof, that's a max attack. Adamant. It's, it's naughty nature of Victini, but I'm probably going to say Adamant just out of pure habit, but that is a max attack Adamant Victini. What I'm... Hmm. <laughs> I could go into Cobalion. I could go into Cobalion. Do I want to go into Cobalion? What I really want to do is go into Jolteon, but he still has a way to prevent me from just Volt Switching freely, as freely as I want to.
I have so many plays that I want to make, but I don't know quite yet what I should do. I think I'm going to go into my Cobalion, and I'm going to click Bolt Switch. However, if he is real enough to call that with... Well, if he's real enough to call that with Zero Aura, then he can close combat me. But I think I take close combat, and I'd, I'd have to look into it. But I think I take close combat, and I can... And I can um, close combat him back. I don't see any way that he goes into Zero Aura. His best play is probably to go into... I mean, his best play, honestly, is probably to go into um, Glyscore. Honestly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hard double. Because I think he has a Glyscore play available to him, what I'm going to do is hard double into Cresselia? I don't know, man. This is not a good matchup for me. This is not the best matchup for me. I should hard double, though. Maybe I go back into Victini? I'm gonna go into Superior. I think my best play... ...is to go into Superior. Yeah. Yeah, this is- this is what I knew was gonna happen. My best place to go into Superior. I can set up a sub right now as the Crobat comes in. No, I double. Or I triple, I guess. No, I can't do that either. I can't do that either. Yeah, my play is to go into Victini. My play is to go into Victini. And from there... Oh, he doubles himself. Yeah, no, that is, that's actually what I expected him to do. Um, now he has to respect... He has to respect Psychic now. I really want to click V-Create, though. He knows that I'm max attack adamant. Let me see. What is Sharpedo? What does Sharpedo take to a V-Create? Oh. V-Create threatens Oko onto Sharpedo before it Mega Evolves. I think V-Create threatens his entire team. I'm going to click V-Create. I'm going to click V-Create. If he goes into Slow King, yeah, if he goes into Slow King, that's that's the same thing because um, he might not be able to take two V-Creates. Yeah, he's in a position where I just click V-Create again and he either switches out for the Regenerator and threatens and allows me to threaten Oko on something else on his team. Or, it it is a roll, to be fair, but, um, or uh, potentially lets me take out the Slow King, which is a huge thing that is, um, kind of stopping me from doing what I want to, and I don't quite think he can afford to do that. Um, he could potentially, he could potentially go into the Sharpedo now, but again, um, that much allowing that much damage is going to be pretty detrimental. Let's see. I'm very curious as to what happens right now. I'm very curious as to what happens right now. Because 
it feels to me like he has to pick a snack right now. Because I am scarfed, and um, no matter what wants to come in, something gets taken out by a V-Create. He could risk... He could 100% risk this roll as well, but I think this, this is a roll that um, I potentially win. Does stay in. Do we get this roll? Okay, we do take it out. Okay, okay. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge, but now let's just see. That wasn't a max defense slow king either. I think that was just max HP slow king. Maybe max HP. I'm gonna assume for right now that that's a max HP max special attack trick room? Question mark? I don't know. Yeah, because also for U turn to do 50%, um, I don't think it can be at all defensively invested. Yeah, if it's max defense, then I don't do 50%. But yeah, now he knows that he has a free turn here. Which honestly just makes me think that he's going to try to set up rocks again. Especially just to try to limit my switches in to Victini throughout this match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I 100% just click Stealth Rock myself. Because at this point, Stealth Rocks for me is a lot more important than Stealth Rocks for him. And I'm definitely going to still try and, um, and Rapid Spin as much as I can later in this match. But for me to have Rocks on his side of the field, I think is a lot more important than him having them on mine. Now this confuses me. This confuses me. Unless he's trying to set up spikes right now. I, again, I'm pretty positive I take Power Whip fine. I don't care about being Leech Seeded if I can get a Rapid Spin off. And I outspeed, so I know that I could. In fact, let me look something up real quick. Rapid Spin. Um... Yeah, Rapid Spin also releases me from Leech Seed. So that honestly makes me want to let him Leech Seed me. No, 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 no. No, the better play would always be to just click Rapid Spin right now. I'm going to click Rapid Spin. And now as long as I can maintain pressure enough that this for the knockoff that's fine as long as i can maintain pressure enough that the glide score can never feel comfortable enough to stay in then i think i'm okay which honestly makes me i think he's just gonna leech seed me and I think he's just going to leech, me, leech seed me right now, which makes me want to go into my Surf here here aggressively. And I think that lets me get a free sub up. And here's the thing, right? If I do have a sub up, then... Hmm, no, I was going to say maybe that helps me deal with the Crobat a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Thunder Wave is bad. <laughs> Thunder Wave is bad. You got me decently good there. But I'm going to get a sub up regardless. I really thought he was going to lead seed me. I 100% thought he was going to lead seed me. He thought, he clearly thought that I was going to go into the Victini. And I could have. He definitely could have um, screwed me up with that Victini. Okay.
I'm gonna click Leaf Storm. I hate the fact that he's about to get rocks back up. I hate the fact that he's about to get rocks back up. But... If anything... Two Leaf Storms is going to allow me to 1v1 the Crobat if he goes for Brave Bird into me. Actually, what's his moveset? U-Turn Toxic. I've seen U-Turn Toxic. I think I've seen Roost, right? I just completely missed what happened on that turn. He probably attacked me and he probably got, he probably got rocks up if anything. His last move has to be Brave Bird. Avoids. Okay. That's neat. And that actually means that I can't take on this Crobat, but I can get big damage off with a Hidden Power Ice, which I think is what I have to have to do. Oh, he went for U-Turn. Okay, that's what happened. The superior is kind of useless. I think I have to give it the superior right now. Not even Koba Berry does anything for me. Not even Koba Berry does anything for me. He has to go into something that maintains pressure on me. It could be the Sharpedo. Could be the Glide Score. If it's the Glide Score, if it's the Glide Score, then I would go into. Um, if it's the Glide Score, then I would go into Cresselia. And this thing knows that I have Ice Beam. Ice Beam would KO the Zorora onto the switch in. Um, if any, the only thing it doesn't directly deal with would be the, would be the, he could get rocks up one final time, but my Sand Slash is still up. I don't think you'd want to necessarily risk that. As much as I would love to click in Power Fire, I think I have to click Ice Beam for right now, just in case this thing does try to get up rocks again. But if it does, then this thing 100% goes down based on the prior damage from earlier. And, um... If this thing gets rocks up, then Crobat allows me to spin them away. Crobat can't do anything to my Sand Slash. That would prevent me from being able to Rapid Spin. Which then just opens the door for my Victini to very freely, um, to very freely V-Create repeatedly. The Sharpedo's still not coming in, which is super interesting, but this thing comes in, and I'm okay with it, only because I can recover up on this thing, and I don't think we've seen Toxic on this thing. So far, we've seen Thunder Wave, Leech Seed. I think that's it, right? Thunder Wave, Leech Seed? I don't... I'm not sure. We'll get the Hidden Power Fire. I'm really curious to see how much this does. It does about 30-ish percent. But the fact that I can Moonlight up on this thing and... I'm doing as much as I am doing with the Hidden Power Fire makes me think that I can... Wear this thing down, which is going to ultimately be what I need. And I do want to see what the rest of this thing's moveset is. I'm not sure what I've seen other than Leech Seed and Thunder Wave. Oh, I saw Knock Off, Knock Off, Knock Off, Knock Off. Definitely saw Knock Off. So probably no Power Web. Maybe Protect? I think I think we I would have seen protect by now. Actually, mm, I already locked in my move. I should have gone into Cobalion because it's gonna try to knock off right now. Is that a crit? No, it's not. It does go for Thunder Wave? Maybe did expect my Cobalion to come in. If anything, now would be his turn 100% to go for a knockoff if he is inclined to do that. 
And it could be my opportunity to go into Cobalion. I think maybe he doesn't think that I would go into Cobalion right now. But I think Cobalion has to be what I want to do right now. So, Thunder Wave knockoff, Leech Seed. And what is that thing fourth move? Does withdraw himself into Sharpedo. Um, I could definitely see Protect right now. Because I do outspeed. And maybe... Sharpedo Mega. What if I went for a Z Close Combat? Is there any reason not to go for Z Close Combat? Well, he could go into the Crobat right now. Maybe I could click Zen Headbutt? Okay, so maybe... Hmm. I'm gonna click Z Close Combat. I think now's the moment. No matter what happens, I think now's the moment. I'm super curious to see how much damage this does to a Gliscor. I'm super, super curious. It should be enough where Iron Head next turn KOs. No matter what happens. Okay. That looks to me like a range where Iron Head. Iron Head's a roll. Iron Head is a decent roll here, but. I don't see any reason not to go for this roll right now. And yeah, to be clear, the only reason that I did go for the Z close combat, oof. That was not a good roll going. That was not a good roll. The only reason that I did go for the Z close combat was because um, the fact that I've gone for Volt Switch, I think twice before, would indicate that I, um, that that's what I would potentially want to do now. And I wanted to protect against that. Protect against him. Reading that, going into the Zero Aura, getting health back, or going into this thing. But... Iron Head is not doing enough. He does switch out, which is super interesting. Goes into this thing. I mean, he's, got, he's doing damage to me, for sure. But... I don't really mind that much clicking close combat, taking this thing out, and moving the heck on. Unless he's using this as an opportunity to get himself into Crobat for free. Does double, man. He could be trying to win this match right now. And does bait the close combat. Is the final move Heat Wave. I guess we see right now if the final move is Heat Wave. My play has to be to click Volt Switch right now. But... Heat Wave... Actually, Heat Wave shouldn't take me out even at minus one. Heat Wave should not take me out even at minus one. So I should get this Volt Switch off no matter what, unless it's... Oh, just goes for the Brave Bird. Uh, that also shouldn't take me out, question mark? I guess we see... Yeah, we take it, we take it. And what this is going to allow me to do... 
What this is going to allow me to do... I was going to say to go into... My... My, um... Sand Slash, but I'm not too sure. What I really want to do is go into Sand Slash and click Knock Off. I'm not sure what I should go into, if I'm being honest. I think I should go into Sand Slash. I think I should go into Sand Slash. Maybe I should just go into Victini. Maybe I should just go into Victini and try to be really aggressive here. Because there's nothing that takes any hits from Victini, I don't think. But I need to be able to switch in enough times for that to do what I needed to do. Yeah, I'm going to go into this thing. And like I mentioned before, rocks on his side of the field is a lot more important to me. No, I don't think it is. I think the better play would be to rapid spin. Although, Brave Bird probably takes me out right now. Brave Bird actually probably does take me out right now. Is there anything that I do about that? I could go into Cresselia, force him to take himself out to recoil. I could go into... No. I'm gonna click Rapid Spin, but I think he just- I think Brave Bird just takes me out right now. He played that super well. I- I made a huge, huge misplay. I should have just gone into- into Victini, put on as much pressure as possible. If anything, I could have just clicked Blue Flare at this point. Um, Blue Flare isn't a 2 hit KO onto the Sharpedo, so it would give the Sharpedo an opportunity to come in and try to revenge. But, at that point, I think I'd give up Sand Slash. At that point, I think I'd give up Sand Slash, and, um... Then I'm in a position where I can probably... V-Create or something like that. Yeah, Brave Bird... Brave Bird's gonna do it. There's no reason for me to make that play. That was a huge misplay on my part. Huge, huge misplay. And unfortunately, if I was in a position where Victini U-Turn took this thing out, then that would be fantastic, but I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I am in a position where Blue Flare should take this thing out. Blue Flare should take this thing out. The only thing that I have to worry about then is the Sharpedo. I would have to concern myself with the Sharpedo. Even then, Blue Flare is a two. Blue Flare does over half. Maybe Blue Flare is what wins this right now. I guess we just see. I guess we just see. I think... As long as I can... As long as I can do enough where... As long as I have enough resources where I can routinely switch this thing out, sack something off, and switch this thing back in, then I think I'm okay. Especially if I'm forced to V-Create. If, if I'm forced to V-Create against the Sharpedo, then unfortunately I'm forced to V-Create against the Sharpedo, but... Um... I think that that's how I win this match. And I do have to remind myself... Well, okay, the Sharpedo potentially has Aqua Jet, which would... Screw me. He's trying to get the blue... the Iron Barbs damage, but, um... Whoa, okay. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Remind myself, it doesn't matter. He does know that I'm going for Blue Flare now, that I'm locked in a Blue Flare, which potentially does, um... Invite in the Sharpedo. 
That's a super upsetting miss, though. Um, he does potentially invite in the Sharpedo. But a no-bulk Sharpedo, I'm doing over half with Blue Flare. And... And then... And then all I have to do... Let me see here. Yeah, the thing is, once Sharpedo Meg evolves... Once Sharpedo Meg evolves, V Creek does not Oko. So, this is going to be the thing, right? The only real question is going to be... If... Oh, yeah, I need to sack something. The real question of whether I win this match is if the Sharpedo has Aqua Jet. If it does have Aqua Jet, then I lose. If it has Aqua Jet, then I lose. But if it doesn't have Aqua Jet, then I think I win. Now, I know from running... Sharpedo and Mon similar to it that oftentimes you don't find room for it because you got to think like Poison Jab, Earthquake, Waterfall, Ice Fang, like those kind of standard like coverage type of moves. If that's all, if that's kind of like his entire moveset, then I can definitely, definitely understand if he doesn't have the Aqua Jet, but if he does have the Aqua Jet, then I genuinely lose. 100% I genuinely lose. But what I can do is I can try to find out if this thing if this thing um has it by testing it out with with this thing because um my cobalion my Cobalion is uh, designed to outspeed this at all times. I can Volt Switch, but there's no reason to at all. I, well, Crobat is the reason to Volt Switch, actually. Crobat would be the reason to click Volt Switch. I'm going to click Close Combat. Only because Jolteon has the Quick Feed activated. Jolteon gets one final hit off. Um, it gets one final Hyper Voice off, which I have to go for the Hyper Voice because of the two potential options in the back. We can still win this match, but doesn't have the Aqua Jet. I think he wins, though. Thinking about it now, I don't think there's a way that I win. It would take a lot for me to win. It would genuinely take a lot. It would take a lot for me to win. If I get a flinch right now, that would be huge. Let's go for the Earthquake. So that's going to allow... my Victini... can't go into Victini because Blue Flare doesn't 2-hit KO the Sharpedo. I would have to go into Victini and I would have to click 
U turn. No, I can't do that. I can't do that either. I don't see a way that I win this. Um, because I, especially because I don't think Jolteon comes in on two rounds of Stealth Rocks. This was, mm, this is a rough way to lose. This is absolutely a rough way to lose. But I have to click Hyper Voice. If I was in a position to click Bolt Strike... Then I could win. But... Yeah, because I can't click Bolt Strike... Wait, no. Did I just choke? No. No, no, no. Because... I was just thinking, if I go into Victini... I could click V-Create repeatedly... Um, the only way that I would win is if he chokes and brings in the Sharpedo, lets me hit the Sharpedo with the V-Create. But the fact that the Sharpedo takes two Bolt Strike, or Blue Flares, means that he wins. And the fact that I can't go for Bolt Strike because of the Zorora in the back, means that, uh, I can't win. Actually. No, I was gonna say... Maybe if I go for U-turn, um, U-turn could, two U-turns could KO the Sharpedo, but then the, the only thing that's stopping me is the Crobat, because then I can't beat the Crobat. Then I can't beat the Crobat with U-Turn, and that will, that's what would do it. I mean, I have to click Blue Flare. It's going to give me a point of differential. And maybe I burn with Blue Flare? I'm not even 100% sure if that's a thing. But, uh... And you can see, yeah, Choice Scarf only allows the use of Blue Flare. So... Yeah, I, I painted myself into a corner. I painted myself into a corner. I honestly think, like I was saying, it, I had to maintain enough resources where I could continually allow my Victini to V-Create. And I think my biggest misplay was giving up my Sand Slash for no reason. And if I was able to, um, keep my Sand Slash as something that I can sack off in the middle of the game, then I think that I would have, that would have given me the one final turn that I needed to kind of win this. Because even now, I, I'm pretty much one turn away from, from being able to win this. If I just had one turn where, one extra turn where I could um, do enough with one of my other moves, then I have a chance to win. But that's not going to be how it goes yet. That's a frustrating way to lose. I, I messed up. I don't feel like I played this terribly well, but um, absolutely good game to Sharpedo. It was a fantastic match. It was a very long match, but um, I 100% just got outplayed. I made so many mistakes, and that's going to be how this week out goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with um, week four of the PGL, which, like I said, I just played before this match, and uh, that's going to be a really fun match, so come back for that. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, out.